All right, remember for this first question that we should really be doing it last, right? Save whole passage questions for last, right? We want to do them after we have the most information about the passage. And if we don't read the passage to start, if we use the no reading strategy that I love, then we won't have any knowledge of the passage when we try to answer this. Uh, but even if we do read the passage, we are going to do all the other questions first, which are basically like reading the passage. We get most of the lines, and so we'll have a much better sense of what it's about. So whether you read the passage or not, you want to save these questions for last. Now we can kind of go on memory here and, and use that to kind of test whether or not these are good summaries of the passage. Remember, we're not really writing our own summary here. A lot happens in these lines, right? There's like 81 lines. A lot happens. Odds are good that my summary of what I took away from this passage isn't going to match perfectly with the summaries here. So why bother making my own bad summary? I might as well just use what I'm given, the four summaries and the answer choices, and then test those against what I read. So in choice A, a character's visit to her native country inspires her to investigate her ancestral history. Well, first of all, we gotta be a little careful here. Is it really her native country? She's American, right? They said that. Um, uh, so she speaks Cantonese with an American accent, right? Like this was really early on. And there's throughout the passage, she has troubles. There's a lot of stuff where she's, she doesn't speak the native language. So. I don't know if this even counts that it's her native country. Like, she's ethnically Chinese, but the, the whole passage is making clear that, that she's not, like, fitting in. So I, I don't know. I'm a little iffy on that. But even the rest of it, investigate her ancestral history? She's taking pictures. She's on, like, a, a, a press trip. She's just having fun. So investigating her ancestral history. She's not learning about China. She's just like there and like taking pictures. And there's little things that come up, but this is a very strong phrase, investigating her ancestral history. She's not at a museum. She's not an archeologist. She's a movie star taking pictures. It's much more less complex than this. So B, a character considers how she had to comply with expectations in her career as an actress. Well, it does say that she's an actress. Uh, but if we remember the passage, it barely talked about what it was like to be an actress. She's on this one trip, and occasionally she mentions how it's reminding her of things she did. But uh, her career as an actress is definitely not the focus of this passage. Um, I also have problems with the strong word comply. That means you're kind of like forced to do something. She's, again, she's just taking pictures. She's not being forced to do anything here. And... It's not about what she was forced to do as an actress on a movie set. This is just a bizarrely strong choice that doesn't really match with the setting of the passage. C, a character compares the customs of one country to those of another. No, definitely not. The word compare is enough here to be a problem. It's not a comparison. Yeah, there are times where there is some sort of problem because she's an American in China and things don't fit, but it is not a comparison of the two countries. It's just like little things here and there. And so to say that that's the main part of the passage is just wrong. It's not like a study comparing China to the United States, no. So that leaves us with D. A character's work on a project causes her to reflect on her place in a particular culture. So is there a project? Yeah, she's over there to take pictures for some promotional thing, yes. So there is a project. Uh, does she reflect on her place in a particular culture? Well, what's the culture? China, that's where she is and she's got Chinese heritage. Um, is she reflecting on it? Well, yeah, I mean, we saw other questions where they're talking about her standing out versus blending in, changing clothes. Reflect on is such a nice, weak phrase. It could mean anything. It could mean that she reflects on it and is glad that she stands out. It could mean that she's not happy that she stands out, that she wishes she were more American, that she wishes she was more Chinese. It's an open phrase that can mean anything. And that's why I didn't bother with a summary from the start, because a lot of times the summary answer that ends up being right isn't really saying all that much. So why bother trying to come up with what the passage is saying? We can be much more vague than that. She's just kind of there in China and trying to figure out what, how she wants to look while she's there. It's very simple. And so when you have these whole passage questions, not only are we saving them for last, but when we get to them, we don't want to overthink them. We have to trust that we did enough 
by doing the other questions to understand the main ideas of the passage. You haven't missed something. You haven't missed a main idea if you were skipping around and using the no reading strategy. If something's a main idea, you've encountered it because main ideas are repeated ideas. But also all of the other questions ask about the main ideas. So we're encountering the stuff that's most important and then we have to use that stuff in this question as well. It kind of all comes together. So there's a little bit of faith that comes through with these big picture questions. But with practice, you, you'll see the pattern that a lot of times the best summary is the weakest, most vague, unhelpful summary. And if you gave to your teacher in English class in school, he or she would be like, no, the failure. This is a terrible essay. This is a terrible analysis. You haven't said anything at all. But on the SAT, it's good. Weak is good. Vague is good. That's, that's why we try to look out for strong words to prove things wrong. And there's a lot of strong words here.